okay in this lecture we will look into controllers okay so basically controllers are nothing but block okay a block which consists a set of requests okay you you can perform the whatever want uh, you yeah, up to your wish about the request present in that block okay for example uh, make a block and if you want to run the requests which is present in the block for 100 times continuously in a loop you can do it or for example you need to make a condition if that condition satisfies then only go and execute that block that means go and execute the request present in that block basically so you can put it in a block and write your specific conditions to execute that okay uh, tomorrow uh, you might be asked that okay make sure that these requests are very very important in our application and run it for thousand times okay so in general if you till now what we have seen we have created a, a test script and we can keep it run for thousand times using thread group but scenario here is i want to run only those particular requests for thousand times okay okay just example i am telling so what you will do you just need to put those requests in a block which we say as a controller there are multiple controllers available for apache jmeter let's uh, check one by one but this was a basical you know concept of controllers and usage of it in jmeter basically you can customize those uh, based upon your requirements right so let's start just uh, by understanding few of the most important controllers which we come across our scripting life with jmeter okay so we'll do that in this section so for that we'll just uh, go to any site here uh, mercury yeah okay i need to start the server right without starting the proxy server there's no point in hitting the url there okay let's quickly record our script so maybe you all are familiar by now okay the usage of all this uh, right so that is clear and now click on record okay now so if you want to okay let's go back and start our recording i'm just logging into the page it's new tools dot demo aut dot com okay so credentials i provide you here is test password test okay so we can sign in successfully okay so once signed in these are the two links which we are interested okay to put in controller okay let's see that later i am just clicking on cruises to know what all cruises available for me and i am clicking on car rentals okay that's it so we are just done with that or let's click on hotels maybe this site is not appropriate at least this page what we are looking uh, flights let's click right again we just reach the same page okay done let's log out okay now these are the records recorded crews and under construction okay let me just run a, a basic run before we start putting something let's copy create a thread group and paste down all those okay so let's put a listener and see how it's running before we start talking about uh, view results tree okay done so let me run this okay so this is controller okay. 
sign in login this is something black which is not at all required for us its request is okay we are not bothered about it right reservation under construction okay. let me delete first this black uh, to avoid confusion okay sorry this is in workbench there is no use of doing it in workbench right crews and then let me delete this construction as well we just uh, start with uh, base two elements reservation crews login uh, is this required okay <laughs> this is landing on base page so let me put saying that home page let me write a neat description change the name here it will automatically reflect here okay the one slash all these are there right let's put a neat name so it is it will be good for us login mercury cruise and reservation Sign off. Okay. Yeah. So it's done. Let's run it. One more time and let's confirm. 